Day four at the SCG began with Australia four for 479 and Sean Marsh reaching his sixth test ton. There he goes, through cover, superb cover drive. 500, in a great series. The runs came thick and fast as the Marsh brothers turned Smash Brothers, the lead skyrocketing. It's a shot, isn't it? That's a man who's full of confidence. Mitchell Marsh eyed off his second test ton, oh, getting the milestone despite some brotherly love in the middle, nearly resulting in a run out. And there we have it, the brotherly power out there at the SCG. And they've got to remember to get in their crease, they're hugging before they finish the run. What a mighty effort. One ball later, the junior Marsh departed for 101. One dicks back. So, celebration short-lived for Mitchell Marsh. But England were in for some more pain. Oh, and that's some way to get off the mark. Short Marsh reached 150. So, <laughs> the back foot, the big gap at cover, too short. Really well thought through innings by Sean Marsh. Then was run out. That's out. Still no respite for the tourists though, as Mitchell Stark went big. He hits it well, both fielders on the rope, just stand and watch. Another wicket, another batsman ready to tee off. Pat Cummins finishing strong before Steve Smith declared. It's a bouncy. Sure, there it is, the declaration. Steve Smith says we've got enough and it's time to bowl. In reply and trailing by 303, England were rocked as Mitchell Stark wasted no time. Close, very close. Got to be it. Alistair Cook was dropped. Oh, yeah! Dropped him. Got a hand to it. But Nathan Lyon didn't need any assistance with this. Oh, he's bowled him. Straight through the gates. They're all over the... Pat Cummins caught the edge of James Vince. Gone. Yes, he's got it. Finally, he takes the catch. And Nathan Lyon trapped David Milan in front. England four down and the host circling. Call for LBW. This one is rewarded. Joe Root and Johnny Besto resisted, able to muster a fifth wicket stand to see out the day's play. England four for 93 at stumps, still trailing by 210 runs. It's been a fantastic day for Australia.